Oh, man. Can you hear me, Tim? I can hear you good. Can you hear me? Yeah, you don't have a microphone or anything like that, or um, like an ear bud thing with a microphone? No, buddy. <laughs> I'm just lucky I got you on here, but I figured I'd push it a little bit. <laughs> okay, cool. So uh, I'm going to take about 20 minutes of your time, and we're just going to get right into the nitty-gritty. Um, I've been doing these Instagram Live, COVID-19, How to Fix Real Estate. I've, um, I think I've connected with just about every facet that's affecting real estate except home inspection, which is why I have you on here now. So um, for my viewers and the people that will watch this later on down the line because it will be recorded and put out to the universe, how many home inspections did you do um, BC before COVID? What did your schedule look like? We were slammed. Um, we were getting into the busy time of year. Um, myself, my employees, we were doing close to 20, 25 a week. Um, wow. So since then, it, you know, April 9th, uh, Governor Wolf issued the, uh, the basic shutdown for us. Um, there was a waiver application process, which we did. We applied for a waiver. Meant we were still able to do inspections um, for the most part. And it was business, well, I don't want to say business as usual, but what was happening was for years, for 10, 11 years, we've been telling everybody, one of the biggest things with the home inspection was for to have the buyer there. Right. Um, what I learned in college, one of my baseball coaches used to say, you want to learn something, get more senses involved. In the process, read it, see it, hear it, write it, um, and you would you would learn about whatever the subject was. <clears throat> so when this happened, the epidemic happened, we were limited. We could not have buyers attend. Um, obviously, we had asked the sellers to leave if the house was occupied. Um, agents could attend. For us, that's a big deal because if we're working with a first-time home buyer or an agent for the first time. It's, it's, it's our greatest marketing tool, especially for a small business. So we want to show the agent not only the scope of what we do, um, we want to show them how we handle their clients, um, that we're not alarmist. Hey, there's a hole in the roof. All right, well, we just got to get someone to fix it. It's not that big of a deal. No matter what kind of problem we find during the course of an inspection, we, it's just a matter of money um, and willingness to get it done. So, you know, you try not to be... Um, that guy that says the sky is falling. So when this happened, we operated for about two weeks. Um, my voice is a little hoarse from being a substitute teacher with my kids. Ah. And bomb threats all week, hoping they don't get me next week. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, for, for, we operated for about two, three weeks under the, with the waiver, and there was nobody there. So well, it's, you know, we can still do it. It's not business as usual. We're still getting agents to the closing table. Um, we're still writing our detailed reports. We found that we were including more photographs um, in each of our reports because the clients couldn't be there. Um, each of our reports is a computer-generated report with, uh, you know, normally about 50, 60 photographs. I think the last one I did, in April 8th, April 9th, whatever it was, I put almost 100 photographs in there because um, the client could not be there. Um, yeah, and I'm going to touch um, – I'm going to interrupt you real quick. I'm going to touch – for those of you that um, may be in a different state, maybe do inspections differently, maybe your new agent has never been through um, a, per, a buyer purchase, um, it's a big deal for even an agent. I go, to all, I go to every buyer home inspection I can. I mean, it will be – on the priority list, if I have a closing, um, showings, whatever, it's lowest on the list. But I try to go over one I can because multiple reasons. One is you want to be able to know. Um, you want to educate yourself. So as a realtor, you walk through, you walk buyers through a house for the rest of your career. You can say, ah, that roof does that roof doesn't look like it needs um, uh, done in the next two years. Now, I'm certainly not saying you should be making predictions on the life expectancy of a roof, but you can tell what a brand new roof looks like, and you can tell what a roof that's 30 years into its life looks like. So if you walk around the home inspector, they talk about lead pipes, cast iron pipes, this, that. I mean, stuff you're not going to get if you just get the report emailed to you. So I, and I still learn every home inspection I go to, even now selling 70 houses a year, I, 
for years on end. I still go to home inspections. So for buyers, agents, it's a big deal. I, again, we, we haven't discussed after COVID. We don't know what that looks like yet. I don't think anybody does, but I recommend that all um, buyers, especially if you're, if your buyers are there, you want to be there too, because I've had it plenty of times on where I was a listing agent and, you know, a home inspection came in and there was an alarmist home inspector that reported something, but the buyer's agent wasn't there to kind of cooperate or whatever. And it just made the transaction super rocky. So um, before COVID, BC, I loved and I recommended, even when I talked to our new agents that just got their license to always make time to go to that home inspection. It's free learning. I mean, like the knowledge, Tim, you had to get pay money to learn. I get it for free. So it's, it's, it's epic. Now, that's how it was pre, um, before COVID BC. Everybody would attend except for the sellers, the buyers, family, and first time buyers. You definitely want their parents there. During COVID, you, you know, you don't have the waiver anymore. It got moved. So now you can't, um, can't do any home inspections. So let's look at after COVID. What do you think it's going to look like and how are you going to change your business to adapt? Well, I think it's going to go back to how it was just before uh, Governor Wolf issued the shutdown. I think. You know, they had, they had initially said maybe one person could attend. Um, I think for the time being, since once we get back into this yellow phase, I think what my company is going to do is taking universal precautions. We're working buyers not to attend. Um, we're still going to wear our masks. We're going to glove up. Um, we're going to still wear the shoe covers. We're going to take off um, our boots when we go in the house. We're going to wipe down surfaces. Um, we're going to really try and do our best to leave the house in better condition than when we found it, especially if it is owner-occupied or tenant-occupied. Um, as we ease out from yellow to green, I think there's room to allow the buyer to attend. Um, I hope so. Right. Following CDC, the governor, the president's guidelines, um, what we can do to be safe, we all got to do our part. Um what we're doing um, is funny. The downtime has allowed us um, to work on our business. You know, small business. Yeah. Center, if you're not working on your business every day. Um, you know, you're going to fall behind the game. So for the last month, every day, they're pushing us up because it really is hard to be motivated during this time of quarantine. Um, totally. You've got to find something that you can do to make yourselves better when the floodgates open, that you could better serve your clients, your realtors, um, even the sellers. Um, you want to do a fair and partial inspection and provide the best education. And that's really what it's about is teaching. So um, more pictures in our reports of what I've been saying. But I think the last and your reports, weeks, uh, your reports, for those that don't know, Tim, and I already know, they're digital reports that come over. You can download. Anybody can download. No attachments. And you have um, color photos in there, including drone photos. Yep. And what we do is we once we issue the report, we create an online folder that will stay there for one year. Perfect. We'll have a report on it that day. Then any subsequent reports you may want, a termite report, a pest report, any lab results from uh, mold testing, sewer cameras, septic dye tests, we upload directly to that. We don't even send you an email. We'll just tell you in 48 hours, check this in your radon report. will be Super there. cool. And so you don't have to be very tech savvy, but it, it is uh, very te technologically advanced. And this is all changed from us from a year ago. May 1st of 2019, we switched over to the new um, in-house proprietary software that Pillar to Post developed. And it. it's pretty state-of-the-art. You I'll know, talk to a bunch of other realtors, compared the same report from our old report going side-by-side, side, this one's just much cleaner, photos with the actual defects. And it allows us to do the report on the fly and include the, the photographs right with the defect, as opposed to it. Now what we're trying to do is, I've tried about four or five different video platforms to get video tours included into our software. So when a client reads their reports, they click on a video tour. Um, the great thing about Pillar to Post is we're always on the cutting edge of technology. We were the first ones nationally to incorporate the use of the thermal imaging camera. Um, we went all green a couple years ago. Um, now we are, I'm in a pilot program where we have 360 degree cameras and we're going to include four floor plans of the house and virtual tours of each of the properties, interiors and exteriors. Um, that's nice. coming. I wish it would be done right now. Yeah. Um, 
be great right now. But what I'm thinking about doing is, <laughs> earlier I mentioned that uh, online um, cloud-based folder where everyone goes. We're looking into doing um, walkthroughs with the GoPro. Um, I've even FaceTimed um, some people. We set up a Zoom meeting, and I walked through and narrated like I was Lauren Green doing the National Geographic. Um, <laughs> I had to do a British accent with it to make it a little interesting. <laughs> but it's it's just another way to get the uh, get the client engaged. Um, and we'll save that and put it up in the cloud. And this way, we're not emailing it in, a, you know, maybe a five-minute video feed. It takes somebody 20 minutes. They just go into the cloud, download it while they're looking at their report. Yeah. Um, that's the great thing. I'm, I'm 47. I'm not the world's best, um, most technological person around. But you got to find ways to make it work, not only for yourself, to separate you from your competition, to, yeah. but to clientele, because that ultimately is what we're here for, Brian. Yeah, and I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of video, and I'm surprised it, it, video hasn't swept over the home inspection industry sooner. Um, but then again, you know, I'm surprised it hasn't swept over realtors sooner, but now that we're all forced to do video, it's almost a necessity. I mean, like paper is gone, video is almost going to be a necessity. So as soon as you figure that out, you will be one of the first, the pioneers, but everybody else is going to jump on soon. But if they're not, they're probably already working on it while you are because it's going to be a necessity. I think one of the biggest challenges right there is storage, uh, you know, for the, for the media. Um, you know, you can't store it on here, you know, on your computer. Maybe you know, external drives, cloud space is always available. So, you know, there are, anytime there's technology, anytime there's something new, um, people fear change. Um, older guys like me, we, we fear it a little bit, but um, you gotta, you really got to get in the game and get involved to help your clientele. I'm going to solve that problem for you right now, and I DM'd it to you earlier. You can have a YouTube channel. You could get that GoPro, put it on your head camera or your chesty, whatever, record the whole thing. You could upload it to YouTube and make it unlisted. Unlisted means only the people that have that link can ever view it. So it's private, secure, and it's up on YouTube. That's what we do with our sewer cameras. That's so perfect, yeah. The exact same thing. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, so do you think um, – I think we will, but do you think we'll go back to being allowed to have the buyer's agent there, the buyer's there, the buyer's family there? I think, you know, the, the whole idea of getting into this yellow phase, um, and I'm, I, I, I try not to watch the news this time. This time, um, It's very depressing. Luckily, I'm married to an essential worker. My wife, God love her soul, is married to me for 20 years, um, putting up with me. She's a nurse, so she gives me some firsthand uh you know, data on what's going on. We're thinking maybe June 1st, middle of June by the right. latest. Um, we may be back in green. Um, and we're not going to jump back in and have a mom, grandma, father-in-law, uh, cousin Billy, the electrician yeah. there. But, you know, maybe at least we can get some uh, some clients there practicing social distancing using our masks and gloves. And Are you going to supply me? That's something we're talking about as realtors now in our office. Um, are you guys going to have a box full of disposable coverings? <laughs> yeah, we have, we've always had gloves, shoe covers that we've used, gloves we use for septic dye testing, sewer cameras, things like that. I have probably 40 boxes of uh, latex gloves. Um, I was ordering yesterday for some masks with the Pillar to Post logo on them. Yeah. Uh, so I thought it was a wise investment. But, yeah. Um, the mass will provide that for our clientele, um, keeping up with show, social distancing as well. Right. Yeah. I think that's, I think you pretty much got it nailed. Digital reports, so nobody has to touch anything. All the proper, you know, safety and security things. The video is going to be a big deal. Um, I'm going to give you a little shout out. I mean, who, for the people that join late, who are you? How long you've been in business? Who are you with? Et cetera. Team size and all that stuff. Areas. It's Tim Quinn. I own Pillar to Post here in uh, Home Inspectors here in Pittsburgh. <laughs> Been in business since 2010, so I'm in my 11th year. <clears throat> I have a uh, I have one other full time inspector with me, um, Josh Fife. Josh has been with me going on three years now. Um, Josh does a great job. Um, we're doing about seven eight hundred inspections a year. We are your one stop shop for everything. We uh, home inspection, termite, radon, well, septic. Uh, vermiculite inspections, uh, sewer cameras, and mold, whatever you would need, um, we are able to do. 
Um, like I said, we're your one-stop shop. Um, Mar Mary, as I mentioned, my wife, Beth, uh, she's a nurse at McGee Women's Hospital, UPMC. Shout out. Um, three wonderful <laughs> kids. Lesson 19, a freshman at Penn State. Timmy is Timmy the third is a uh, junior at Franklin Regional, and my youngest is Tyler. He's a sixth grader at Franklin Regional. Nice. So, what do you like to do? What's what's one of your passions? Baseball. Yeah. Um, been coach of baseball 25 years. Started little league um, back in Edgewood, a, you know, a thousand years ago it seems. Yeah. Um, Franklin Regional High School for about eight nine years. Um, coach for all American baseball for about ten years. In the past couple of seasons, I've been a uh, assistant coach at Penn State Credit Allegheny, coaching at the college level. So, um, yep. boys play baseball, and I do baseball and home inspections. So. Tim's a homegrown guy. I've been with Tim probably since the beginning of your uh, – we, we came on pretty much the same time, probably about nine, ten years ago. Um, yeah, we, met yeah. we met on Twitter, I think. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> So for those agents out there in the Pittsburgh area, I'm going to give a little shout out. I've been using Tim since the beginning of his career. Um, what I love about him, he does all my buyer inspections and pre-inspections for my listings, um, but he's not an alarmist. I mean, he's going to walk through and tell the client what is going to be a problem, but he's not going to throw out numbers. This is a $20,000 repair. We've all had those type of home inspectors. I'm kind of heavy on listings more so than in the beginning of my career. I was heavy on buyers, so I unfortunately am feel the wrath of other home inspectors that um, are alarmist, but he's not going to be so um, unalarming that he lets something slip through the cracks. So if you're a Pittsburgh realtor, you know, I recommend checking him out. He's pretty active on um, Instagram, which I like posting funny, crazy videos he sees throughout some of his home inspections. What's the craziest thing you maybe you've seen? Um, Old. There's a lot. Mold, um, flock of birds in an attic. Um, one time found a, uh, found a bag with a bunch of cash in it. Nice. Um, but I had to turn that over. So uh, I lost I, that bag, so that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, you see, you see it all. You see, you know, the, 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 the wonderful thing about my job is I get the privilege to go into about, you know, 10, 12 homes a week every day um, for the last 10 years. And we really see a lot of good, um, nice stuff. We meet so many wonderful people. Um, it's, it, it, it's, you know, they always say if you have passion for what you do, you never work a day in your life. Um, so this is really a fun thing. Meeting agents like you, um, some of your buyers and all the wonderful buyers I've met over the years. It's just, I'm, I'm truly blessed. I'm telling you, I'm looking forward to the next time I see your face in person again. I'm not going to lie. This ugly mug, bro. <laughs> all right brother thank you for your time um we are nearing the end a little market update i'm going to give an unofficial market update you can t i can feel that we're coming to the end and it's going to open up soon because my sellers are starting to uh come out of the woodwork my buyers are starting to talk about houses they've seen and i'm uh again i have a lot of listings more so than buyers and i have a lot of buyers agents that are reaching out to me about my listings so there's i mean i think the unofficial date is may 8th but there's a bill on that's trying to be a pass through um, that's going to try to move that up. So it, it, it's not much longer. Pittsburgh will be back to work, and it's going to be gangbusters. So as, quarantine, as, as, as much as you may not have liked quarantining, in about a month you're going to be like, oh, man, I wish I was quarantined again. <laughs> I, All right, Tim. It's safe trip home, bud. Thank you, sir. Enjoy. See you guys.